This is the Riverhawk Report. First one of a new year, as a matter of fact. There's snow on the ground and more in the forecast. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2011. Well, I like 2010 a lot better than 2011. That's men's basketball head coach Greg Horenda. He could have been speaking for either basketball team. The new year did not get off to a good start. Both the men and women were in action at home against Stonehill. Each found frustration. Neither was a winner. Turnovers and missed shots plagued the women. They lost to Stonehill 65 to 52. Turnovers have plagued us this year and you know we've been emphasizing it and emphasizing it so we got to get to the point where we sureness to take care of the basketball. That is head coach Kathy O'Neill. The Riverhawks turned the ball over 20 times. That's more than twice as often as their opponent. And then there was the matter of missed shots. Not just missed shots, but missed makeable shots. Missed layups. Missed way too many layups. And when we were just actually talking about we were looking at the number of layups that we missed. So, and, and you know, I mean, perimeter shots, sometimes they go and sometimes they don't, but you, you gotta hit your layups. That said, Bianca Simmons led the Riverhawks in scoring. She hit for 21 points, grabbed seven rebounds, and added three assists. Janae Bushner and Sarah Bennett each hit for 10 points. The team played relatively solid defense, and the coach says that is a positive that they are going to have to build on as they move forward. You know, we have talked about hanging our hat on defense uh, all year, and I think there's times when, when we're okay defensively, so we just have to be... If we're going to struggle on offense, and we even have to be better on defense. So. For Riverhawk women, it was their second loss since the break. UMass Lowell lost to Caldwell last Thursday, 66-65. Simmons and Bushner each had double doubles. The Riverhawks are now four and seven, three and four in the Northeast Ten Conference. UMass Lowell men's basketball was frustrated too as the new year began. They dropped a 69-58 final to Stonehill. The Riverhawks just seemed out of sync. They never got their game going. Our, our young guys have to learn how to sustain and play through adversity. That's what it is. You know, many times we had, you know, Antonio played a lot tonight. Uh, our, our, our guard play was struggled and I, I think what you learn is that you're not going to win every college basketball game. You know, we're eight and three. And, and a loss like this is almost like eye-opening. It's shocking to our players, but it's, it's part of college basketball. That is head coach Greg Horenda. Despite the struggles the Riverhawks led at the break, and it was still just a one-point game midway through the second half. But then the game just kind of slipped away. In the second half, they just defended us, guarded us, got loose balls, and really beat us up around the basket. And we looked very, very... Uh, young and thin inside. Three River Hawks were in double digits. Matt Welch led scoring with 16 points. Antonio Bivens added 14. Akeem Williams threw in 13. The loss snuffed out a modest winning streak, which had reached four with a 67-55 win over Bridgeport last Thursday night. Williams hit for 20 in that, and Bivens brought the crowd to its feet with an in-your-face slam over a couple of Bridgeport defenders. The River Hawks are now 8-3, and 4-3 and three in the conference. Both basketball teams, men and women, are back in action on Wednesday night, they host Assumption, and that's the Riverhawk Report.